Local agencies, meantime, throughout Southern California, uniting to offer condolences to loved ones of Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer. KTLA's Aaron Myers joins us live from outside the LA County Coroner's Office in Boyle, Boyle Heights with more. And Aaron, it was quite the procession we saw yesterday. Good morning, you two. There were so many people and organizations that came out for that procession. I'll show you more on that in just a moment. But Deputy Ryan Klinkenbrumer, he was just 30 years old. He'd been with the department for eight years and had just gotten engaged a few days ago. And now people are out paying their respects, organizations as well. We'll get into some video from that procession. It happened very early this morning. It went from Lancaster here to Boyle Heights to honor the 30-year-old deputy. A long line of vehicles could be seen accompanying the deputy's body. The overpasses were also filled with people. Now, Deputy Clinton Broomer joined the Palmdale station in 2018. He also served as a field training officer for a year and a half. Sheriff Robert Luna said he came from a family of Los Angeles County Sheriff Department deputies, including his father and grandfather, and that he had just gotten engaged four days ago. Investigators believe the shooting may have been targeted and was an ambush. The deputy was shot while in his patrol vehicle. Sheriff Robert Luna spoke out last night. Somebody saw something. Somebody knows something. There is a family here at this hospital that's grieving tonight, an unimaginable loss. It's a young kid who came to work to serve all of us. We need your help. Anybody who witnessed anything, especially in the area of Sierra Highway around 6 p.m., or has any additional information, Please contact our homicide investigators. Together, we can ensure that this senseless murder and the person who committed it is held accountable to the full extent of the law. He needs to be off our streets. Sheriff Robert Luna also posted on social media, part of it reading, service was running through his veins. He embodied the values of bravery, selflessness, and committed to justice. Our deputy was a devoted family member and a cherished community member. He was cowardly shot while working tirelessly to serve our community. And the Palmdale Sheriff Station had this to say, words cannot express the shock, sadness, and anger over the senseless loss of an exemplary deputy and an even better human being. Deputy Clinton Broomer strive for excellence in everything he did. He was very thorough in his investigations, genuinely cared for the community he served, and he was always willing to help out his partners anytime they needed. And Palmdale Mayor Laura Betancourt called Clinton Broomer a hero and said Palmdale loves the sheriff's deputies and the deputies take very good care of Palmdale and love our community back. The person that did this is a coward and they will be caught. And back here live, just to reiterate what Omar was saying, uh, they will be using every resource possible to find whoever is responsible for the shooting death of Deputy Clinton Broomer. Of course, anyone with any information is encouraged to come forward. Reporting live from Boyle Heights, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. And of course, we'll keep you updated on this developing story. Thank you, Aaron. New details emerging surrounding the arrest of an armed man who tried to approach presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. at a campaign event here in Los Angeles. That suspect has now been identified as 44-year-old Adrian Paul. I contacted LAPD. They later arrested him without incident. Ice Piero is now being booked on felony gun charges and is being held on $35,000 bail. California officials are suing five of the largest petroleum companies in the world. They're accusing the gas and oil giants of engaging in a, quote, decades-long campaign of deception about climate change to pad their pockets, end quote. The suit, filed by the state attorney general, Rob Bonta, alleges ExxonMobil, Shell, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, and British Petroleum all knew the dangers of burning fossil fuels to the environment as early as the 1950s, but downplayed the dangers to pursue record-breaking profits. So far, the petroleum companies haven't responded to the lawsuit. The city of Los Angeles has been hit with a lawsuit over a city council decision to expand the L.A. Zoo. Two groups, the Friends of Griffith Park and the Griffith J. Griffith Charitable Trust, say the plan should not proceed until all potential environmental impacts are addressed. The suit argues that the expansion would remove 16 acres of native chaparral brush. Officials at the zoo, they want to modernize the facilities they have there that were built back in the 1960s. The city has yet to comment on this lawsuit. We have an update for you about Princess Diana's iconic sheep sweater that we told you about last weekend. The vintage piece is now the most valuable sweater ever sold at auction. Ever. Not surprised. The sweater was sold for 
$1.1 million at the Sotheby's inaugural fashion icon auction, lying forgotten in a box in the attic by one of the co-founders of the clothing brand that created it. I'm just curious, you know, I, I know rich people like wearing rich stuff, you know, so like if you pay a lot of money, you show it off, oh, I bought this, but that's artwork, right? So yeah, at that point, would, you just, you don't wear I think it? you'd be a collector. I don't think you'd wear it. I think that you're maybe someone who really is into the royals or show out? history. I'd wear it. Yeah. Really? I think if you're at least to you have to pull.